All right, here we are on ChristianPost.com. One of you let me know about this in the comments. Thank you very much. I'm going to need to report on this. It says here, come on, Billy Graham of the next generation calls on one million Americans to unite in prayer in Washington this summer. Billy Graham, the, one of the worst New Age sellouts to the Vatican. Uh, is a high-level Mason. He's a Satanist. He doesn't worship Jesus Christ. Uh, Pope Francis joins Lecrae. Hill song, there's a good old hell song again. At historic 1 million strong together 2016 DC event. Pope Francis. Hmm. Interesting. Let's read some of this. Uh, this is from something in 2010. Uh, evangelical leaders are calling on 1 million Christians together, together in the nation's capital next month for a prayer and worship at a historic event called Together 2016. Oh, doesn't make you just feel warm and fuzzy inside? You know, run to the bathroom to vomit if you have to. Inspired by Nick Hall, the founder of Paul, say prayer and evangelism movement to empower the church and awaken the culture to Jesus, not the Jesus of the Bible. Americans are being urged to unite on the National Mall on July 16th to offer prayer that God will change the hearts of a divided America. Yeah. Adding his name to the lineup of prominent guest speakers and musicians is Pope Francis, who will deliver a video message addressing the crowd. Hmm. The whole world will worship the image image of the beast hmm how about that and it goes down through here uh, it says we are humbled and honored by his involvement and are eager to share his message with the crowd that gathers at together 16 2016 hall said in a statement to the christian post reacting to the announcement that the pope has added his name to the list of speakers that his holiness would choose to speak in to this historic day is a testament to the urgency and the need for followers of Jesus to unite in prayer for our nation and our world. Notice these are supposed to be Christians, evangelicals and things, and they call the Pope His Holiness. Hmm. Hall, a college pastor, came up with the radical idea of uniting pastors and Christian leaders from all denominational backgrounds to join one million people at the free event in hopes of inspiring true revival in America. By everybody going back under the Pope and calling him His Holiness. These people can burn in the fires of hell. Okay? I ain't joining them. Over 40 well-known speakers, recording artists, authors, and leaders from various backgrounds will be featured at Together 2016, united in prayer and worship. Yeah, worshiping Satan. More than 1,000 churches nationwide have already pledged to attend, and there will be 8,000 service opportunities within a 100-mile radius of Washington, D.C. during the week before and after Together 2016. They're all these little daughters of the harlot. These are the prostitutes going back to the mother brothel is what they are. All right. Look at this. The times call for this moment, Hall said. It is time to gather on a large scale and draw our attention back to what it, where it really matters. Yeah, going back to the Vatican. Our hope and our help are found in Jesus not in political leaders. Uh, he called the Pope His Holiness. Who's Jesus to this disgusting papist? It's the Pope. We are going to come together, seek God, pray for our nation, and pray for unity. Our goal is to gather as a unified, unified front, seeking Jesus and change for our nation through prayer and worship. The uh, Catholic believes that the Pope is Jesus. Okay, that's what they believe. Confirmed guest speakers and artists include Hillsong United, Carrie Job, Francis Kahn. I've seen some of the stuff of that guy. Oh, he's such a great leader in Christianity. No, he's a papist. Nick Hall, Passion, Crowder, Kirk. I don't even know who half these people are. Rabbi Zacharias, I've heard that name. Jeremy Campa, Campa CCM guy. Michael W. Smith, the witch that he is. Using uh, druidic runes on his albums and stuff. A total occultist. Guy's a Satanist. Uh, just incredible. I don't know who these, a lot of these people are. You can read these names. I, I'm out of this whole thing. Casting Crowns, I've heard of them. CCM band. Josh McDowell. Evidence that demands a verdict, I think, is what the guy wrote. Total sellout. Complete stinking sellout. Disgusting. But you can read the rest of these. I don't see if I recognize anybody else here. No, I don't. No. Uh, Together 2016 will be held from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., little occultic thing there, on July 16th at the National Mall in Washington, D.C. For more information on Together 216, visit 
reset 2016. I'll open that up in another tab. We'll look at that in a minute. But you say, what's the occultic thing here? Nine is an important number in the occult world. But if you take nine plus nine, you have what? 18. What is 18 divided by three? Three sixes. I'm sure that I'm just conspiratorial for saying that, though. Yeah. Here you have together. Oh, isn't that so tr hip and trendy looking? And notice right there, notice it's right at the, uh, you know, big, huge obelisk right there, right in front of the obelisk. Be one of a million standing for Jesus. Yeah, it's not Jesus. It's not Jesus. It's disgusting. You know, I mean, look at the thing. Say it right there. Look at that. The obelisk. That's exactly what they're trying to say. So there's all these Satanists that are going to go there to damn more people to hell. You know, they they want they want uh, you know friends in hell. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he's. You know. Putting his arm, oh yeah, oh look, feel it there. Look at the big old obelisk. It's just disgusting. These people make me so sick. Just grotesque. But whatever, enough of this vexation. <laughs> but uh, this is the kind of junk we have to put up with. All right. So, just insane.